Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Dimensionalist. I'm a Dimensionalist. Today I wanted to discuss how the Dimensionalist channel was started, a little a little bit of uh, past history of the beginning of the channel. For all people that know, uh, me and my friend, uh, one of my best friends, we're now like ex-friends, but we're kind of like friends still. We're kind of okay now. You know, but something happened, and y'all can get that history by checking out the channel. And at one point I guess I'll do a story on it. But I've actually already discussed it a couple times in my videos here and there. So y'all go ahead and check all that out. If you want to know the Dimensionalist uh, uh, channel was a name I came up with because I'm a Synod Master. And me and my friend in 2016 when I got out of incarceration, if you don't know, I got out of incarceration. And I started MajorLeagueRapping.com and made the YouTube channel. Uh, got logos made and put them on my, uh, you know, made the website and stuff, did all the design. And started doing my raps and stuff. You know, I needed a name for myself upon having a rap name and bring this image into cre uh, creation itself so I could have something for myself, you know, and feel good about it. Um, and that's how I did it. And I didn't have no idea for the Dimensionalist at first. I'm sorry to tell y'all that now that the channel's come along pretty good. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, I was never really planning on doing a video all the time, honestly. But it's the fact that starting it, doing it, not saying it. Because I talk about it 24-7 sometimes. And or people that are trying to learn. I try to explain the dynamics to them in the simplest way possible without stepping outside that boundary. Because if not, you're not going to get the information. And the information is going to have to require critical sentence structure that you've never heard before. Like dimensional and light insertion and stuff like that. Like, and then I explain the whole video how that's done. So basically, me and my friend, uh, Tao... He was the first, he was, we were the first dimensionalists uh, on the channel. We were, we're going to call it the dimensionalists. You get what I'm saying? And that is named the, the thing, the dimensionalist, you know, because I, and in Synod Master, you can, there's things called dimensions and consciousness ascends and it fits in a conjunction itself and, and places itself in a higher dimension, dimensional structure that the light frequency brings in. See how fucking complex it is? So we're like, yo, we can make a YouTube channel because he was going to make a YouTube channel about something else and or do a channel with me, which we want to call the... And I came up with the, the name The Dimensionalist because I always put the est after stuff, you know? Like, if a motherfucker has herpes, I'll call him the herpist. I'm like, you're fucking herpist, yo. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So it's like dimensionalist. But I was like years ago. I always put S after certain things for professions that I don't know what their actual profession name is. I put S at the end of everything. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't really do it with video gamist, but that would sound stupid. But it would work. Rapist. You get what I'm saying? Like that. Rapist. Uh computer repairist, you know what I'm saying, something like that, so the dimensional list is something I came up with as a dimensional list, I can't be dimensionist, because that would sound not really cool, but dimensional list, I'm dimensional, you know what I'm saying, so I'm a dimensional list, I do everything with all the dimensional, the, the dimensional stuff, so I was like, yo, what's, that? what's your shirt, what is that, I was like, oh, it's my YouTube channel, the dimensional list, <laughs> yeah, so I got the dimensional list to major league rapping, uh, and I was already doing the rap stuff, but I really wasn't, I didn't have no, uh, I wasn't out there. I didn't have like a name for myself. I kind of like, a lot of people's heard of me now, but back then I was using, uh, just my f social media to share my music and stuff and to make music and meet people. And that's really all I was doing. And, uh, yeah. So now I wanted to mention that, uh, um uh when we started the channel we both did videos together and he had uh at one point something happened and I found out he was fucking my fucking girlfriend you know what I'm saying and uh or my girlfriend when I got locked up for a long time he was fucking her while I was locked up I don't like afraid to admit it I mean it's just what it is I still talk to the guy I meet him today I don't really hold that against him anymore but if things got heated, cause like that's not cool. I was, I was, she was still alive then. Remember that girl I was showing y'all? Yeah. So, what what had happened was I started writing his ex girlfriend that was locked up. Right? You get what I'm saying? And he see see how the two situations, but we still hung out and shit. But I'd be like, 
Yo, you're fucking. We he just didn't want to do the videos no more. You know, so we, we so if you noticed the beginning of the channel, I was doing the videos, and then we would me and him would always get together and do a video. If you notice, there was a series of videos just me and him. There would be a video for every day. You get what I'm saying? Or uh, twice, three times a week, and that's what we were we were hitting it at. Uh, mostly like once a week, twice a week at least. But now I do a video a day. So my point is that all those things happen. He just. One day we went we went to last make a video together and he just really didn't put no effort in it. It was gonna be about uh, I think mind control actually. We were gonna explain how mind control actually works, and I was like I was like I can do it. I mean, dude, I was like I already know what mind control is. You know, you can I can set a good ground basis for how all that works. You get what I'm saying? And he didn't want to do the discussion. I just need someone to build off. If not, I'll do the whole discussion myself and already have it there. You get what I'm saying? Because usually we do a video, we're just going from whatever topic we've done and chose and we'll discuss it that we already know. You get what I'm saying? And he, like I said, that those those events and me jabbing them in the car that night and, well, yeah, uh, we're not kind of like chill no more. Uh, but we're kind of okay now. That was too two and a half years ago something like that two years ago two years ago exactly actually two and some change on other stuff you know all the events played out so that's why I say two and a half when I started the Dimensionless channel was uh, summer of 2016 uh I've been making videos ever since I'm still alive I'm breathing I'm breathing still you know I'm still alive yes I'm alive I'm right here I'm not a necromance corpse I'm not a I'm not an animated uh pre-animated what is it a animated corpse uh tupla I'm not a tupa either I'm a real entity being Adam Cadmon body human race Lyran Terran uh guy that represents the Galactic Federation of Light Ascended Master in 2012 when I always go off with my girlfriend maybe some hot bitch at, like hot topic or something I'd always go uh I was like December 21st, 2012, and say, uh, Astra Sharon, the Galactic Federation of Light. Connection to Astra Sharon, December 21st, 2012, like that, and drop my hand and take my shit that I spent a couple hundred dollars or someone. I mean, like 50 or 40 or whatever the fuck I spent that day. You know, with my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like always working, getting hotel rooms, uh, blazing up with my girlfriend. And she liked smoking tree. She was an Indian, so she was a little smoker, you know. She was cool. Uh, if this, she was still here today, she would be right next to me on video saying, hey, like this, looking cute and stuff. And then I'm like, and then we'd be going through struggles and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, she went off, did some other shit, and I'm like here on the channel talking about it. You know what I'm saying? That's how different parallel universe shit can happen. But yeah, that's the beginning of the Dimensionless channel and how he left off the channel and I took over at that point. And then at that point, I was doing a video a week, like, and then trying to do two videos a week. And somehow I just never did more than those videos. And I was a lot of planning in my head. I know I'm saying I never did write out a lot of the stuff because I already have that stuff written down from when I was locked up. Does that make sense? And all the ideas for videos I had, I always put in my phone. So that's all the plan I did. And then I'll just let look at it browse through and then delete the ones I've done so after I put like 10 in there and I then did four I didn't put six back in like ideas you know ones that I already know and can discuss that I already know that where all the logic is and as soon as I discuss it and I go into the next harder advanced thing for y'all because I could just start up as fucking like explain all the direct terms and everything how everything happens but I gotta build your base for that terminology so when I speak shit like that and explain it naturally, you know, like, like saying it, like, this just occurred in the dimensional structure of light and shit. And then you'd be like, okay, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? And the jargon and shit, you, you, you know, there's there's these books by these different authors and shit. And I, I'm telling you, no matter what, their logic lines up, I can match up to that logic. Like, I've also had a discussion with these people. I would be like, yes, da, 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 da. like I've met a guy before that knew the same exact shit as me, and he explained shit in such a way that I was like, this, this, and this, and we would even pray and call on Asher Sheeran, like the Galactic Federation, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the other dude on the channel, uh, it was a dimension, I think he was a Freemason, uh, he never did, I don't think he was, so I really can't say, 
See what I'm saying? There really is no, uh, I've never seen it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. But he, he was a dimensionalist like me, so hey, it's there's a possibility. <laughs> I always keep possibilities. I always think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? Not that that's been like a conspiracy. I just wanted to mention that because, uh, hey, maybe he was. You know? But he don't think he's ever going to come back up here to a video. I'd probably have to pay him to do a video to come back up here. <clears throat> or just to say, wave for a fucking second or something. Maybe he had to be some wager in fucking place, you know? He's just an extreme dimensionalist guy as me, you know? But he's really fucking cool and chill. Uh, he was, like, into, like, um, all types of different music, actually. But he, like, grew up in, like, the goth style and shit. And stuff like that. Uh, a little bit darker, not too goth. You get what I'm saying? Uh, like, punker type shit. It's pretty fucking cool, like, heavy metal and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like... I've seen some of the fucking heavy, heavy metal from Japan. That shit's pretty fucking decent. If we play one day and shit, like, what the fuck? Yeah. But, uh, that was the beginning of the channel. Now where the channel's going now, after the, after two years he left, I'm the, um, one that is commander-in-chief of, uh, the Dimensionalist. Uh, I created all the logins and shit for it. And he never got access to none of that shit. And because I don't want a project. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and I swear to God, this is why I did it at the beginning. I don't want a project to be failure. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to do something in life, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fucking done. And everything I've noticed I've wanted to get done in life, you know, the smallest shit, the computer programming software... I've got fucking done. Like I said, I have a whole SQL server database for Red Moon. Uh, RedMoonClassic.com. I need to check that out. Yeah, Red Moon database. So, but Red Moon online server for video game. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So I wanted to say that, uh, and go and close out the video, that that's how the Dimensionless channel started. Uh, other than that, uh, if y'all didn't know, I'm a, <clears throat> I'm an elite gamer. We can bring up some video game topics at one point. I'm really, uh, excited and stoked for the uh resident evil 2 remake that's coming out supposedly in january of 2019 coming up close guys get ready for that um das game's gonna be insane uh i just know that uh i'd like to get it but major update for Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's another thing the Dimensionalist is waiting on. Is uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm obsessed with Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VIII, IX, and X. Those are like my favorite ones. Uh, out of all of them, even more than XV. But XV, I like not. It's because he teleports. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. His name's in Japanese. I've heard it before. I don't know how to pronounce Japanese very well. It's just like a... How my mind remembers it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's even correct. But it sounds something like that, you know what I'm saying? It's very close. Like, like how I tell people, I'm like, I might be 10%, 5% off on an airman prayer, but it's really fucking hard to say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, every time I hear it and say it, I can say it and get it like 95%. Because there's some syllables and parts of it that I really cannot say very good, you know what I'm saying? Because the translation, the readout, and the rendering of it, how it's said... It's more smoother than the way it's said in, like, Aramaic. It's gonna be like Syriac. Syriac Aramaic. It's hard to explain, guys, how I fucking look at this shit. And I've been studying and looking at more Hebrew letters lately and stuff. And how their vowel placement is with, uh, these little dots and things. And I'm still trying to learn that. So I can read ancient Hebrew. But, uh... Yeah, Major League Rapping was first before the Dimensionalist. The Dimensionalist was next. And then during the time of the Dimensionalist and Major League Rapping, I started uh, the Database Rat. The database Rat is just a bunch of fucking random videos up there. No one, no one don't need to go up there. But that shit's almost got 2,000 2, subscribers. Why does it have so much subscribers? Because it's got uh, videos up there that are like copyrighted. And a lot of people watch them. So a lot of people s subscribe. So I don't. that's not really a channel that's got like active, active, active subscribers. Does that make sense? I just, that's a lot of videos that are up there that are mine, that I wanted to do, that I want to discuss. And I should take off there and put up here. I, there's some that I haven't, uh, that I gotta put up there, actually. 
Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.